Hi everyone, I'm Jean from ExtraFatigue.com. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that has been much requested from both my blog readers and YouTube viewers alike, and that is the Chanel Classic Flat Handbag, which in my opinion is one of the most timeless and classic options in the whole wide world of handbags. So a few months ago, I talked about two other options from Chanel's classic line. I reviewed the Petite Shopping Tote and the Wild on Chain. So if you're interested in those two styles, please check out that video. Today, all of our attention is going to be focused on this style bag. We're going to start off by talking about the history and details of this bag and then the different variations that it comes in. In a later video, I'm going to share the different places where I personally bought Chanel and how to save a little bit of money off the retail prices. On that note, I kind of want to preface this video by saying I know these bags aren't everyone's cup of tea, they're expensive items, but I've noticed a trend in women saving up for investing in a timeless and classic piece that they really love and will wear for a long time, possibly even pass down to future generations, versus spending that money on several items that could soon go out of style and sit in the back of their closets collecting dust. So the timeless and classic feature of these bags is definitely a draw for many women and that's why they spend so much on it. This here is Chanel's classic flat purse. It's also referred to sometimes as the 2.55 flat and that just stands for February 2000, wait that's very recent, February 1955 when Coco Chanel initially came up with the design for this bag. And she took inspiration from all different places and knowing the history behind the design is what really makes this bag special. So Coco Chanel took a lot of inspiration from menswear and the quilting of this bag was inspired by the quilted jackets of the horse jockeys back then. The chains of this bag, Coco Chanel was an orphan and this was from her childhood that orphanage caretakers would wear chains around their waist to carry their keys on. And actually, back in Coco Chanel's day, handbags didn't have straps. They had little handles, and women carried them around daintily like this and put them on their lap while they sipped tea. And Coco wanted something that was functional and that she could be hands-free in. So she came up with a design for this double strap purse. So the straps of these come out of the top of the bag through four grommets. And you can wear the straps doubled up like this as a shorter shoulder bag. Or if you open up the flap a little bit, you can pull the chain through so that it becomes a single longer strap. And I love wearing this way. You can just sling it over your shoulder and wear it with more casual outfits. In the 1980s, when Karl Lagerfeld took over the House of Chanel, he made a few subtle updates. He added a leather strip through the chain so it's interwoven. And he also updated the clasp over here to have a double C. And that's how the design of this bag kind of came to be the classic flat that women know of and love today. This bag has a turn lock closure, and when you open it up, you see a second flap. For this reason, sometimes this bag is called double flat purse. And this second flap is secured by a snap button, and that keeps the contents inside really safe. And inside, there's a rectangular cavity, and this bag has a ton of pockets. This one on the back, Coco used to stash her extra cash, allegedly. There's a generous compartment here in the front. Some smaller pockets here and a circular compartment here where Coco kept her lipstick. When you close the second flap, there is a zipper pouch here for loose items or coins. And then lastly, there's a secret compartment over here in the back between the two flaps where Coco allegedly kept her love letters. Mine's empty. I haven't gotten very many of those these days. Now that we know all the details of this bag, let's talk about the variations that it comes in. So if you decide that you would like to add a classic flap to your collection, you still have so many more decisions to make. First of all, the size. This is the small classic flap, and it's considered to be too small for, by many women, but for someone like me, I'm about five feet tall, so this is actually the perfect size for me. Also, I don't carry very much. I carry a wallet, cell phone, keys, and a little bit of makeup with me, so this bag holds all of that perfectly. In comparison, I also have the medium slash large, and this is probably the most common size, and it looks great on women of various heights and sizes. 
If you look at these two side by side, the difference is very subtle. The small flap is 9 by 5.5 inches and the medium large flap is 10 by 6. So the difference really is just half to one inch. But inside, the compartment of the medium large is noticeably roomier. Chanel also makes a flap bag in the mini size. It's about half the size of one of these. It looks kind of like a square. They also have a jumbo and a maxi size. So if you love big bags, check out those sizes. After you decide what size you want, the next step is to choose a leather. The most common ones that Chanel make are lambskin versus caviar leather. I actually think this is the most important decision because these two leathers are so different. This here is in lambskin, and lambskin is buttery soft, smooth to the touch, it feels very luxurious. The downside to this is that it's high maintenance. Some women will disagree, but in my personal experience with this, I find it to be very high maintenance. It's more prone to scratches, stains, fading of the collar, and overall, it's been hard to just keep its rectangular shape. Every time after I use this bag, I have to be very careful with storing it. I stuff the inside like this with tissue paper so that it can hold its rectangular structure. And then between the two flaps, I need to keep this little felt slip. Otherwise, the zipper over here will leave a dent in the lambskin. That's how sensitive this leather kind of is. When I store this in the box, I keep it flat on its side like this and I keep the chain separate because the chain can potentially leave an imprint in the top of the bag. In comparison, here is the caviar leather. This leather is pebbled. It has kind of this pebbled, grainy texture to it and it's very sturdy, very durable. This is pretty much water resistant, stain resistant. I can take this to dinner with me, even to shabu shabu where there's splatter going all around and I can just easily wipe off anything that gets on here and use or just a very lightly damp cloth to just wipe it off. This, in my opinion, is definitely my leather of choice. I kind of wish that this one was caviar as well. It's just much more lower maintenance and it makes it a bag that you can use all the time without worrying. After you've nailed down your size and leather type, the next step, the fun part, is to choose a color and hardware combo. You can choose between the most common silver versus gold hardware. The gold looks like this. I think the gold emanates old time glamour. It's very classic, but personally for me, I like the silver better. It has a more modern look in my opinion. And that's why I went for silver with both my bags. As for color, I think they're trying to phase out the smaller size. So right now they only make this in black. Black is nice, it's very classic, and I don't think you can go wrong with black for your first flat bag, but color is really where the fun part is at. For the medium large size and up, Chanel will make these bags in select colors every season. And they usually do not repeat these colors, so if you find a color that you really love and identify with, it's nice that you know that it will be fairly unique. Chanel's colors are referred to by year and season code. So this is the taupe lambskin with silver hardware from 08A, and that stands for 2008 Autumn Collection. So although I bought this bag this year, I got it online from a reseller, and this is really a bag from three years ago. That's why I love browsing online from resellers and also pre-owned bags, because you have a good chance of finding a unique color that isn't available in stores right now. So those pretty much are the major variations of the Chanel Classic Flap. Most women don't know exactly what they want before they buy, which is fine, but it's good to have guidelines on you know, the important features so that when you're searching, you don't get distracted by options that aren't exactly what you want. Because this is an investment and you want your bag to be perfect. In my next video, I'm going to talk about where I bought these from and ways to save a little bit off retail. I always get asked what the current retail prices are because they're not advertised online. So I'm going to call the store to confirm and then post the prices below in my blog post. Thank you guys so much for watching this installment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.